Chris Roberts, the man behind this whole wild thing called Star Citizen, has recently shared some juicy numbers behind the game's player base. This year, our average daily unique players is around 50,000. Their daily active users jumping over 50% from the year before, and their monthly active users averaged 240,000, peaking at 400,000. That's actually quite a lot of people playing a game in alpha with no actual release date in sight. So what on earth is drawing people to continue to sink time into this game? With approximately 1,500 hours and about two years of playing myself, I might have a bit of a clue. And yes, I have 1,500 hours because contrary to things you might hear from Kotaku and other places that I have hate boners for the game, you can play the game. And for the haters of the game, I'll start with one potential driving force that is often used as an insult towards the game. Sunk cost fallacy. Sunk cost fallacy means you feel invested into a product because you spent money on it. And when things start to fail, you feel like pulling out of the product would now be a waste of money. And when in reality, you'll spend more money staying invested. We have to be real here and say there have to be at least a few people who would have stopped playing if they hadn't sunk a large amount of money in the game, but are still trudging along. For me, however, and many others, we would leave if we weren't having fun and cut our losses and wait for a release. But as you can see in this video I made here asking streamers why they play the game. Those games it has the most potential. 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 Star Citizen always has more potential. You can check it out on my channel. It's about not only the potential it holds for the future, but for what it even delivers right now. For most of us, we can boil the answer down to one thing. Emergent gameplay moments. Moments not scripted by the developers. Maybe it happened out of the blue, or maybe your org set up a fun battle scenario. Let me show you a few examples, and if you have any of your own, I'd love to hear the stories down in the comments below. Why not even start with a bug? Finding an NPC that was floating around in space, we kidnapped him and brought him to a planet and proceeded to shoot and crush him, with half the server actually eventually joining in. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite moments was me and my friend getting behind the counter at a store in a space station and waiting for about 20 minutes for someone to show up where we pretended to be the NPC store clerks using proximity comms. The UEE has, UEE has cracked, down cracked down since the recent, since the recent emote massacre. Emote massacre. <laughs> Or finding a crash to derelict and looting it, only to be chased down by a guy mad that we stole his mission box since there aren't instances and people can jack your stuff. You That's sure this saying. is the one you looked in before, Doyle? You can't open it. Here, you no, can trust me. Open the doors and I'll step away and you guys can put it on the ground and look at it. I, yeah, I never looked in that one. Yeah, I can't see shit. You got the wrong box, Doyle. Uh, or how about when me and my friend were ragdoll yeeting our bodies at stuff and we convinced a group of players to have a ragdoll battle showdown. All right, Brito Bar, are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, ready. Yeah. Security, are you ready? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, three, two, one, go! Then there's things like FOIP, face over IP, that just bring you in that extra level. Tracking a user's face with a simple webcam and projecting it onto your character's face in the game, allowing other players to see your reactions. Then you add in immersive elements, like being so exquisitely detailed that you take time to zoom into NPCs' faces. And you won't be punished because there's no rush to do anything unless you've chosen to take a mission that's timed. A game that makes you take the tram five times because you forgot to get ammo for your gun and there's only one shop that sells it in the area. A game that has waypoints, but that waypoint? 38 million kilometers away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on a different yep. planet. <laughs> Oh my god! So, unless you can fly like Superman, you'll have to find your way through the city, into space, and across the solar system, avoiding pirates and bugs to get to your mission. Or how about doing the simple task of having to mine a rock, realizing you have to play a mini game to bust it open, figure out what's valuable, where to sell it, wait a minute, should I refine it, holy I can get devices to help the process, why is this so involving? The game is a refreshing escape from the tired AAA gaming that seems to be plaguing the world. Formulaic open world games following the waypoint and base liberation tactic popularized by Assassin's Creed 2 and Far Cry 3, to microtransaction dopamine sucking, we have 12 types of currency in our games, kinda games. While some of the games I've shown in the footage here so far are games that I've beaten, platinumed, and generally had a great experience with, I'm starting to feel a bit of fatigue creeping in with the games. As a result of all these tiny pieces bringing together a cohesive vision and game design philosophy, you have one of the most immersive games around. 
I know it can sound tedious just by explaining it, but experiencing it is something else. Like seeing Earth from orbit, it's something you won't know how amazing it is until you try it yourself. While I don't know whether a release date or the average person affordably going to orbit will happen first, I do know you can try the game right now. Unless you're Elon or Bezos, then send it. The reality is I take breaks from the game. I play these other AAA titles, but I always end up coming back because as of now, Star Citizen gives me something literally no other game gives me. While there have been hiccups and some people have their problem with Chris Roberts' past, I think what keeps us coming back is his vision for how much deeper it will get from an already extremely unique experience that it already is. I know you're already clicking off the video, but if you would like to support me, I do have a Patreon where you can watch these videos ahead of time and see other clips that don't make it to YouTube. Or subscribe, or don't. Thanks for watching. Bye.